These elephants belong to a group of less than 500 left in Nigeria. According to the Wildlife Conservation Society, an international NGO, the country's elephant population has declined by more than 50% over the past 20 years alone. Powering through the savannas of Yankari Game Reserve in Bauchi State, the survival of one of Earth's most intelligent species now depends on conservation efforts. WCS has uh, supported the Bauchi State government in protecting elephants and other wildlife in the Yankari since 2009. In 2014, the Bauchi State government asked WCS to take over management of ranger activities and all other conservation activities in Yankari. Before then, an average of 20 elephants were killed annually by poachers. Most of that goes unreported or the carcasses were burned. And that really affected the Yankari elephant population. And since 2014 till date, we have recorded only four cases of elephant poaching. That's uh, due to uh, robust ranger patrols, but also WCS has invested a lot to work with the community surrounding Yankari. Elephant poaching to supply the illegal trade in ivory has seriously affected the population of this majestic species across Africa. A 2016 African Elephant Status Report shows that the continent lost about 111,000 elephants over a 25-year period. Today, Nigeria is the number one transit hub for elephant ivory in Africa. Not because Nigeria has the elephant population to sustain the trade, but because porous borders and weak law enforcement encourage criminals to export African elephant ivory through the country. Thanks to conservation efforts, Elephant poaching in Nigeria is far less common than it was just a few years ago. Our estimates are about 100 elephants still remain in Yankari. And from our records, we have lost only about 10 elephants, including natural deaths, since WCS took over. Over a thousand kilometers southwest of Yankari Game Reserve lies the Umu Forest in Ogun State an ecosystem that is home to a herd of about 70 forest elephants. That's according to the Nigeria Conservation Foundation, who work alongside the state government and other conservation NGOs to ensure their survival. It is extremely important to protect the elephants in Omo because that is the stronghold of elephant we, we, we have in Southwest Nigeria in terms of forest elephants. It is part of her cultural heritage, you know. If we lose it, we lose it forever. Unfortunately, the Omo forest isn't safe for elephants, mainly due to widespread habitat loss. According to satellite data from the University of Maryland, between 2001 and 2018, the Omo forest lost more than 7% of its tree cover. So logging is a key issue. Conservation and farming have unfortunately also been struggling to coexist across Nigeria. In the Omo forest, agricultural expansion is leading to a rise in human-elephant conflict. The farms are situated at the core of, uh, of the elephant habitat. So the, the issue of elephant conflict in, in terms of damaging of agricultural crops is, is regular. NCF understands that the issue of uh, deforestation is a big challenge. And they are trying to make efforts to uh, see how they can uh, get the attention of the government to do the needful. While elephant poaching isn't too common in Nigeria today, it still occurs. According to the Elephant Protection Initiative, as of May 2021, four elephants had been illegally shot dead in this region in two years. These vulnerabilities could be seen as some of the reasons why about 30 members of this herd relocated to the 35,000 hectare Itasim forest an 11-hour walk away from Omo in 2018. 
Philip Van Trier is the founder of the West Africa Biodiversity Conservation Trust, an NGO supporting the Ogun State Government with management, research and protection of the forest. It all started on the 15th of April 2018 when I was called by a member of the West Africa Biodiversity Conservation Trust, told me, look, Philip, there's groups of elephants that want to cross the Shagamon Benin Expressway. So, well, very surprised. Well, I always knew that there were forest elephants in, uh, in Omo, but they found a reason to, to leave Omo. Well, it's, Omo has its own problems, but the good thing is that they went back where they had left in 1946. So they just basically went back home. Of course, with the West Africa Biodiversity Conservation Trust, we need to protect those elephants because they're not protected at all. We have asked Ogun State, and we are working with them, that uh, they give us about uh, 50 square kilometer. We, we've gone far. Uh, they've agreed that it will become a wildlife sanctuary, but it needs to be done fast. In 2021, the International Union for Conservation of Nature announced that the African forest elephant is now critically endangered. And the savanna elephant is endangered. Unless something is done to tackle poaching and habitat loss, both species may become extinct. There's not many forest elephants remaining in Nigeria. People say up to 200, I think it's less than that. But uh, Ogun State, yeah, maybe up to 100. If we do not set up a sanctuary, the elephants will either get killed or they'll move to another place. And when they move to another place, I know where, the, where, where they will go. They will not go back to Omo and they will be killed, all of them. That's 100% sure. There's nothing we can do unless we protect them where they are now. Ogun State is very much aware. His Excellency the Governor is really into conservation as well. So, well, the faster we work, the better. The survival of many other species in the ecosystem depends on elephants. Elephants also drive tourism, and they hold important symbolic significance within the cultures of many African communities. In Nigeria, both elephant species are listed under the first schedule of the Endangered Species Act, the highest level of protection for wildlife in the country. Yet they are far from safe. There is no doubt that it would be a huge loss to Nigeria and the rest of Africa if elephants do become extinct. To avoid this, it is clear that the illegal trade in ivory and deforestation have to be tackled squarely. And lasting solutions to human-elephant conflict must also be established. Leila Johnson Salami, Arise News.